In this module, we will continue with the properties of monosaccharides. The second property of monosaccharide is the condensation of a phosphor with the phosphoric acid with the one of the hydroxyl groups of a sugar, which forms a phosphate ester linkage. For example, in case of glucose, glucose 6 phosphate is formed. Or glucose 6 phosphate jo hai, ye intermediate hai, glycolytic and many other pathways. Ka. Sugar phosphates are relatively stable at neutral pH and bear a net negative charge. This is the diagrammatic presentation of D beta D glucose 6 phosphate. We can see here that in this diagram, this phosphate group is attached with an ether linkage with the carbon atom number 6 of the glucose molecule in the cyclic structure. In fact, one of the strategies of glycolysis is, is to form the three carbon intermediates. Glycolysis mein jab hum dekhenge, to main requirement is the production of energy. Six carbon sugar, jo mostly glucose or fructose or whatever the feeder from the feeder pathway of glycolysis entering into the glycolysis, six carbon sugar is converted into two, three carbon sugars. Uske do part ho jate hain, teen, teen, teen carbon ka ek part ho jata hai, jaise dihydroxy acetone or glycerol dehyde ban jata hai. Aur un dono ke upar bhi phosphate attach ho jata hai, aur ye phosphate data hai jis vak ADP ko, to it is converted into ATP, which is a high energy product and required for the production of energy in the human body. The three carbon intermediates that can transfer their phosphate groups to ADP to achieve net synthesis of ATP. In the synthesis and metabolism of carbohydrates, the intermediates are very often not the sugar themselves. Bahut sare intermediate is glycolysis mein pehle part, pehle hi step mein Glucose convert ho jata hai, glucose 6 phosphate mein. Uski conversion ki different reasons hain aur uski different benefits hain. Glucose 6 phosphate jo hai, wo cell se bahar nahi ja sakta kyunki uske transporters nahi hote. Isi liye ye, this is, ye property jo hai, this is useful for formation of energy in glycolysis. So, glucose and intermediates of different glycolytic and other pathways of the glucose metabolism are having the phosphate group attached on their carbon atom depending upon the structure six carb at 6 carbon in case of glucose or th third carbon in case of dihydroxyacetone or glyceraldehyde. In the synthesis and metabolism of carbohydrates, the intermediates are very often not the sugar themselves but their Phosphorylated derivatives, that's just like I told in case of glucose, which is converted into glucose 6 phosphate. And other advantage of this formation of phosphate and attachment of phosphate in the glucose or on the 6 carbon of the glucose is the formation of O and N glycosidic linkage. When glycosidic linkage is made, वहाँ पहले phosphate attach होता है, उसके बाद phosphate उतर जाता है, तो either O glycosidic linkage or N glycosidic linkage, we will discuss these glycosidic linkage when we discuss the metabolism or the chemistry of the disaccharides.